atmospheric pressure. Do you really understand it? A force so powerful, it's literally holding you together. It's time for some science. Today we're tackling something that's always around you, but totally invisible. Earth is wrapped in a massive ocean of air, our atmosphere. At sea level, every square meter of your body is getting crushed by about 10,000 kilograms of air. That's the weight of a small truck. But lucky for us, our bodies push back with equal force. Otherwise, we'd be flat as a pancake. And as simple as it may sound, atmospheric pressure is simply the force of the air above us, pushing down on the Earth's surface. Yes, gravity affects air as well. The higher you go, the less air is above you. That means lower pressure. Ever noticed how a bag of chips puffs up on an airplane? That's because the air inside is at normal ground pressure, but the air outside gets weaker as you go higher, so the bag expands. That's why deep sea creatures look so weird. Evolution had to build them tough enough to handle insane pressure. And here's the real kicker. Unlike air, water can't be compressed. That means if you were inside a flooded cave with just a small hole leading to the surface, the atmospheric pressure on top of that water would transmit through it and crush you instantly. No escaping this one. Why is this? Isn't pressure based on the amount of water on top of me? Get this, water pressure at a given depth depends only on how deep you go, not how much total water there is. This is the hydrostatic paradox. A tall, thin column of water can create the same pressure as an entire ocean at the same depth. It's all about the depth, not the amount. Now for a wild effect of pressure, boiling and melting points. Ever wonder why water boils faster on a mountain? That's because lower pressure means water molecules can escape as gas more easily, so it boils at a lower temperature. Check this out. If we put water in a vacuum where there's barely any pressure, it boils at room temperature. That means astronauts would have a really bad time in space without a suit. Low pressure would make their body fluids start boiling inside them. Brutal. And it works the other way too. Increased pressure and the melting point of ice drops. That's why ice skates work. Your weight presses on the ice, lowering the melting point slightly and creating a thin layer of water that lets you glide. So next time you drink a cup of tea, dive into a pool, or take a flight, remember, pressure is always shaping the world around you. 10 billion percent awesome. Stay curious, experiment, and keep conquering the secrets of science.